By now, you'll know Hyundai's N Division isn't just some obscure vanity project, but a fully fledged performance vehicle operation, developing and producing some of the most engaging and fun cars you can buy. This is RN22e. It's Hyundai's rolling lab for its high performance battery electric technology, most of which will come to market next year as the Ioniq 5N. But with the current crop of N cars known for their raucous exhaust and exuberant handling, can an EV really live up to the N hype? Well, we're here at the Bend Motorsport Park for the fourth annual Hyundai N Festival to find out. Next year's Ioniq 5N will be the first electric N car to emerge from the Namyang Skunk Works, and while development on that car is just about wrapped up, most of the early hard yards were pioneered on the RN22e. Things like the battery cooling, dual motor drivetrain, regenerative braking, torque vectoring and chassis dynamics have all been pioneered on the RN22e and are now being fine-tuned on the Ioniq 5N prototypes. This then gives us an ideal opportunity to preview the upcoming production car as well as its inbound Kia cousin, the EV6 GT. Now anyone familiar with Hyundai's current portfolio will probably spot the RN22e is based on the upcoming Ioniq 6, but in classic N fashion, everything's been dialed up to 11. Up front we have that huge mesh intake and integrated aero features matched to the rear by an enormous diffuser and fixed rear wing. The whole thing sits lower to the ground than a standard Ioniq 6, with the look emphasised by the widened tracks, extended side skirts and a much angry wheel and tyre combination. Underneath this slinky body is the same eGMP architecture as found on the Hyundai Ioniq 5, Ioniq 6 and the Kia EV6. A 77.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery powers a pair of electric motors churning out a combined 430 kilowatts and 740 newton meters. Now, if those outputs sound familiar, it's because they're identical to those of the Kia EV6 GT, as is the dominated battery capacity and the circa 260 km hour top speed. Acceleration performance hasn't been revealed for the RN22e, but Hyundai says it should stop the clock in less than 4 seconds to 100, thanks to the mountain of power and all-wheel drive grip afforded by the dual-motor drivetrain. For reference, the Kia EV6 GT is claimed to hit the ton in a rapid 3.5 seconds. But what does all this performance and power feel like? Let's head out to the track and find out. The first thing you notice driving the RN22e is the noise. It doesn't sound like any other EV. We're in traffic today at the end festival, so we're not going to go too crazy. It doesn't feel in the corners like anything else with an electric engine. It's so focused. Of course, that's because it hasn't been homologated for the road, but yeah, it still gives you a preview as to what's coming. So the Ioniq 5N is going to be this track going monster that you can use every day. It's going to be a true end car. But unlike the front wheel drives, when you get on the throttle, this thing wants to step out. Anyone not familiar with outputs like the RN22Es are in for a fright the first time they open the taps with that mountain of torque slingshotting it forward with absolutely zero hesitation. We weren't exactly keeping tabs on the speedo, but the way this thing overhauled the other end cars on track was simply next level, and it was a similar story in the corners where it offers a huge amount of mechanical grip, provided you get it right and treat it with a bit of respect. But it'll still understeer if you get it wrong, like that. But if you get it right, it becomes very tail happy. Unlike the front wheel drive hatchbacks, this thing with its rear bias dual motor system, it avoids scrubbing the front on power. If anything, it does the opposite. So we're playing now with the, the E-Shift system, which replicates an eight speed dual clutch gearbox. And it's really quite strange. It changes the sound, the vibration. Really makes you think you're in control of a physical gearbox. It shift up early and it drops the torque. It even blips the down changes, which is quite cool. It feels, despite being fully digital, it actually feels quite analog. You can feel what's going on with the tires. 
The steering's beautifully weighted. It feels a bit like a track car, which of course it is, but the point and squirt ability of it is just next level. Having just come back in from four laps of the bend, it's fair to say the RN22E is a weapon. It may be a rolling lab, but it previews most of the good stuff that's going to be on the Ionic 5N next year. So to answer our original question, yes, an EV can absolutely live up to the N hype. If this is the future of N, we can't wait.